Hello, this is Lou Eckert with Agile and Technologies. In this short video, I'll show you how to use and set up Datalink software for the field fox. First note that if you have your instrument connected to the LAN, you should see that instrument in the menu under LAN instruments once you launch field fox Datalink. I'll select this instrument by double clicking it. Datalink will then go out and capture the current trace. Note that you can do things with this trace. For example, I have a limit line that I can adjust. Uh, by the way, the instrument is, this is not a, a live sweeping trace. This is a one-time data grab from the instrument. If I go under Tools, Limits, Edit Limit Lines, Notice that I can adjust the limit lines. For example, here I'll set the limit line to 13 dB. Once I ex exit, you'll see that the limit line slope changed. So this is post-processing. If I look at the instrument right now, the limit line is still a flat line at 10 dB. We can also do things like add markers. So I've just added this third marker. It shows up in my marker trace uh, table. Notice the table is selected to be on. If you don't like it, if it's taking up too much space, you can turn it off. Again, this is all post-processing. Once I have the trace the way I want it, I can then use tools to generate a report. Notice that the background turns white so that it's printer friendly. And you can adjust things. For example, if you go to Tools, Options, you can set a company name in here. You can set prepared for a certain person, date and time, etc. Next, let's look at some other features. I'll close that report out. If we go to File, we can save away uh, that trace. We can save away a data trace, DLT. Okay. Um, we can also do some other things under File. Uh, notice, let's see if we can uh, get into the menu of the field box. Um, actually, we could open a CSV file or an S1P file, but that's not what we want to do at this point. Um, generate report, we can add annotation to this plot. We can uh, add other instruments, etc. marker. Um, if we right click, let me go back and right click over the N9918A, we can say show files. And what this is doing is going into the memory of the instrument and looking at what files are there. I may have saved states, traces plus state. I may have saved um, picture files and that sort of thing of plots. So we can adjust, we can clean up, we can move around files. Um, other things we can do uh, within data link is to add cables. Uh, if you have a certain cable that you use a lot, you can add that. Uh, you can adjust um, uh, various uh, things, cal kits. For example, here's a list of all the calibration kits that are in the instrument now. A lot of these come with the latest firmware, so if you don't see most of these, update your firmware. I should also mention that for the updated firmware is required when you use the updated data link. So they kind of go together. Don't use old data link with new firmware or the other way around. They won't work right together. So that's a grand tour of uh, FieldFox data link. I hope it's been helpful. And uh, more information is actually in the help file itself. So if you click on help and then contents, you'll see details on how to do certain jobs that you may want to do. Right now, the version that I'm using is 4.65, which 
I believe it's the most current version of FieldFox Data Link. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.